Right, hello and welcome to the news update on VOP TV. I'm Moses Humphrey. The House of Representatives has denied claims by the leadership of the Nigeria Labour Congress that the federal government gave 100 million naira to members of the National Assembly as palliatives. The National Assistant Secretary of the NLC, Christopher Onyeka, had made the allegation in a statement issued in Abuja. Reacting to the allegation, the House Committee Chairman on Media and, Pub and Public Affairs, Akin Rotimi, described the allegation as baseless and devoid of factual accuracy. The Governor of Lagos State, Babajide Saolu, has sworn in 37 commissioners and special advisors yesterday. The swearing-in ceremony, which was held at the Adeyemi Barrow Auditorium, Alausai, Keja, signaled the inauguration of the Governor's Cabinet for his second term in office. The Lagos State House of Assembly, after two screening exercises with rejection of some nominees, had confirmed 38 nominees for the Governor's Cabinet, with the last one, Tolani Akibu, being confirmed less than 24 hours before the swearing-in ceremony. The, the commissioners who took their oath of office and oath of allegiance after their citations were read by officials of the State Ministry of Justice are Lawal Pedro S.A.N. as the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Professor Akinya Bayomi for Health, Aditu Kumbo Wahab for Environment, Maruf Akinderu Fatai for Housing, Bengal Motosho for Information and Strategy, among others. Inaugurated special advisors are Dr. Rotimi Fashola for Agriculture, Adiyemi Lukman for Works, Office of the Deputy Governor, Dr. Oreolua Fini Awokoya for Health, Dr. Yabo Ayola Oyeyemi for Central Internal Audit, among others. The Minister of Aviation and Aerospace Development, Festus Kiyamo, has unveiled three roadmaps for the Nigerian aviation industry. This is as he apologized to foreign airlines over the trapped funds which has caused a crisis in the sector in Nigeria for almost two years. Speaking at the 7th Aviation Summit held in Abuja yesterday, Kiyamo mentioned Aerotropolis maintenance repair and overhaul facilities and aircraft leasing company are some of the priorities of the current administration. He further explained that the three are critical for the development of the aviation industry. He lamented that it was a shame for the entire West African countries not to have world-class MRO facilities, but assured that the country will take the lead in this. Moving on to the Central Bank now, the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has denied claims of an alleged plan to introduce a new Naira policy aimed at crashing the dollar exchange rate to 1 Naira 2.5 Cobble. The Apex Bank has refuted such claims in a statement posted on X, formerly known as Twitter. Yesterday, a report circulated online claimed that the Apex Bank suggested the policy for November. The report also stated that the policy will reverse the tendency for currency substitution as well as eliminate higher denomination notes with lower purchasing power. Commenting on the report in a statement yesterday, accompanied by a screenshot of the report, the CBN noted that the publication was false. In business now, the federal government, through the Ministry of Aviation and Aerospace Development, has directed the Central Bank of Nigeria to convene quarterly meetings with foreign airlines operating in the country to address the issues of trapped funds. The Minister of Aviation and Aerospace Development, Festus Kiyamo, stated this at the seventh ongoing aviation summit in Abuja yesterday. The directive came as a result of numerous complaints from foreign airlines who had reported difficulties in repatriating their funds due to Nigeria's foreign exchange policy. Kiyama also noted that a proactive approach was necessary to find a lasting solution to this ongoing issue 
and that the federal government was addressing the challenges associated with foreign exchange supply, which resulted in the huge amounts owed the foreign carriers. He stated that addressing the issue of trapped funds was one of the reasons the president was in, in the United Arab Emirates recently. In foreign news, Taiwan disclosed that China has flown 68 warplanes and deployed 10 Navy vessels into areas around the self-ruled island in one day. Beijing, which views Taiwan as its territory to be seized one day, has stepped up military and political pressure on the island in recent years as relations deteriorate. Taiwan's defense ministry stated that some of the planes and warships detected yesterday were heading to an unspecified area of the Western Pacific to conduct joint sea and air training with the Shandong aircraft carrier. The Shandong is one of the two operational aircraft carriers in the Chinese fleet. The Fujian, Beijing's third and biggest carrier, was launched last year, but authorities have not said when it will enter service. China has not officially commented on any drills being conducted in the Western Pacific, but the country's Eastern Theatre Command, which organizes drills around Taiwan, mentioned yesterday that an aviation unit had carried out training recently in a range of thousands of kilometers, but did not mention Taiwan. In entertainment now, the famous Nigerian singer David Adeleke, popularly known as David Doe, has congratulated his fellow singer, Rema, for winning the Maiden Best Afrobeat Song category at the 2023 MTV Video Music Awards in New Jersey, United, United States of America, on Tuesday night. While receiving the award, Rema acknowledged the contributions of Nigerian music legends such as Davido, Burner Boy, and Wizkid to Afrobeats, which made it possible for the genre to be on the global stage. The Davido who attended the event described Drama's victory as well deserved. And that's the news update on VOB TV. We'd like you to subscribe and engage us on YouTube. It is Voice of the People TV. And on other social media channels, we are at VOP TV Live. I'm Moses Humphrey. Good morning.